Behind me, you can see a bridge. Um, it's not very noticeable, but it's a bridge. And um, last year, 2016, this is where I came to uh, exercise and kind of give myself some new legs. I like to come here because the fence on the bridge gives me something to hold on to when I get on my feet and try to walk. And if I fall, someone will see me because as you can tell, there's a lot of traffic on this road. Anyway, on this day last year, I knew I was never gonna walk again. And um, I couldn't even stand up for another two months, maybe, or so. And when I could stand up, I couldn't really, I couldn't walk. When I started coming out here in uh, maybe August 2016, I started, uh, I came up, I just wanted to stand. I wanted to see if I could stand. So I came over and I used the fence, which you can see behind me on the other side of the road. I used the fence to hold me up um, because my legs give out, my knees. And when that happens, it can be nasty. Um, but after a while, you know, I came out here and I stood, but then I started walking um, by holding on to the railing in front of me. And I walked back and forth. I have about 25 feet here, holding on with whichever hand was closer to the railing. And eventually I started being able to walk without holding on. And uh, I knew that was never gonna happen, but it did. And the reason why it did was because I was taking oxycodone because of my nasty injuries. Oxycodone not only relieves pain very well, but it also does countless other positive things for me. And it does nothing negative. Unless I take a lot of it, which I don't. So you know what? When I take smaller doses, I get relief and I get stronger. Because of oxycodone, I have this motivation to come out here and uh, start exercising. I've been in hell for a long time. And I'm still in hell and I'm hoping I can get back out. As soon as I figured out how much it helps me, I decided to take only enough to help me do what I need to do so I could make that stuff last. And I made it last up until, well, September, and I'm starting over again. And although I can't walk right now, or even, I can stand up without holding on to anything if I have oxycodone, but I, I can't walk. And um, it's about time to start doing that again. I've been through a lot of hell lately, but now I feel like I'm gonna have the help I need um, with pain so I have some hope I have a lot of hope because I want to live I want to live for years and I don't want to hurt I mean I don't mind hurting some I don't mind hurting a lot but I need pain relief because my life is fucking hell. I live in horrible pain. It's never going to go away. And I can't believe I'm still alive. But anyway, I came out here to 
document myself coming out here. And I guess I'll get some footage of me standing and maybe walking with my hand holding on to the guide rail. I'm getting so weak. I don't know if I'm gonna ever walk again, but I'm gonna try. And here we go. All right. Ow, shit. Um. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Uh, yeah, maybe not with the camera today. I could not do this yesterday. Or the day before. Or six or seven months of days before. Or day befores. Oh. 